I found this board at Michael's and it had this cute little leather strap. It was $14 and I believe it was 40% off um, at the time. And I'm adding Wise Owl White Primer and allowing that to dry. We have this home sweet home at chalkitupfancy.com stencil. This uh, plaque is 17 and a half inches round. We needed to find the center and I'm going to place my home sweet home stencil and take a chalk pencil and put these lines so I know exactly where I need to start painting. I'm taking a drill and I'm putting a hole in the top right and the and over to the left a little bit you want to use a piece of tape as I didn't with the first hole because it does make your hole a little cleaner with the drill I'm taking some painters tape and going along my chalk lines and I'm going to take some gel stain this is antique walnut by general finishes I just apply it with a gen foam brush and wipe it back with a paper towel and allow that to dry. Once dry, I'm going to take my painter's tape and I'm going to go along the end of the gel stained area and I'm going to paint the top and the bottom portion of the board in Higgins Lake by Wise Owl. That can be found at chalkitupfancy.com. I did two coats and allowed that to dry. Once everything was dry, I took one hour enamel clear. You can get this in a four ounce can at chalkitupfancy.com. This is just gonna give me my barrier for my stenciling. Uh, when you go to stencil, if you do make any mistakes and you have that barrier, especially with stain, you can take a baby wipe and wipe it back and start over. With stain, especially in white paint, it is going to change the color of the stain and you're not going to be able to take that off. So now that I have that barrier, I'm going to add my home sweet home stencil, lay it down in that stained area. I'm going to take our, uh, I believe this is Bone by Wise Owl. I'm going to use a foam roller. It's a uh, roll on and then you want to roll off till you have a dry roller. I am not pressing. I'm going very lightly. I'm taking my time. You kind of want to move your roller from different angles to fill in that stencil. And then I'm going to take an art brush and fill in the um, broken letters. You want almost like a dry brush look with your paint. It does not have to be heavy. It's a dusting. So now I'm taking this uh, beaded garland from the Dollar Tree. We do have some of these at our webpage, chalkitafancy.com. I'm actually putting general finishes right on my fingers with a glove and rolling it onto the beads, wiping it off and allowing that to dry. While that is drying, I'm doing another coat of the one hour enamel clear all over my dry uh, paint from my home sweet home. And I'm going to thread my beads into these holes that I created. I'm going to thread in the end of the rope and I'm going to tie a bead on the back to hold my garland. I really hope you enjoyed this video. For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. You can now watch all our videos at chalkitafancy.com for any paint products, tissue paper transfer, or mesh stencils chalkitupfancy.com. Thank you.